Welcome! I'll show you how TraceParts works with Inventor 2011. I have opened a new empty assembly file in Inventor. First of all, we have to run TraceParts. To do so, first select the Add-ins tab of Inventor's ribbon bar. Click Insert Part icon to run TraceParts. If TraceParts was already started, it would have come to the front immediately. Here is Trace Parts. Its interface is made of six parts. Menus and icon, current classification view. Use this area to go directly to a specific manufacturer catalog or use ICS extended classification, which is the default setting. Search engine, part from the tab. Search result display. Display and selection of part parameter. Parts detail table. Documents associated to current part or classification. Parts are stored using what we call classifications. Extended ICS classification is a default one based upon ICS classification from ISO. All the parts can be found in this classification, whatever their manufacturer is. User can browse any classification like in Windows Explorer. For example, if you look for nuts, you can browse extended ICS classification like this. If user wants to use parts from a specific manufacturer, it can go directly to its catalog, then browse the corresponding classification, which is organized the same as a paper catalog. Another way to find part is using the quick search feature. So let's choose a part to insert. For example, I want to insert a double acting cylinder. I enter double acting cylinder in the quick search field, then press enter. Search result area is updated so only the part matching and third criterion are displayed. Let's choose this one. Prior component insertion, it can be previewed in 2D or 3D. Here is a 3D viewer and the 2D viewer. You can preview bomb fields by clicking Bill of Material button. Of course, control will vary depending on the selected component. This part requires a free step to be defined. For this demo, I jump to the last one and trace parts will use the default setting for all of the parameters for the previous steps. Of course, all the parameters can be edited regarding to the manufacturer's specifications. Now, to insert the part in Inventor, click Insert Part button. Trace parts will reduce, then the part will be inserted in the current assembly. Here is our cylinder in Inventor 2011. It has no link with trace parts at all. It comes with the bill of material information previously seen. To add more parts in the assembly, just call trace part again by clicking insert part option in the add-ins tab. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.